Getting started with Fungal is designed to be quick and easy. We've automated and streamlined the flow and would like to walk you through it quickly. The first step is to sign up for an account and confirm your email address. Once logged in for the first time, you'll need to accept the terms and conditions. After clicking Accept, we will launch you directly into our tour of the dashboard. This will help you get acquainted with all the essential pieces. First, we guide you to the Applications tab on the left, where you can explore all of your apps and see reports on their performance. Next, you'll find the Placements tab, where you can customize your ad placements to really perfect the ad experience for your users and optimize the settings for monetization. After Placements, you'll see a Reports tab, which will allow you to wear your Analytics hat and explore the performance across all your apps and placements and do simple comparisons. Finally, you're shown where you can access the important information such as setting up payments and quickly accessing documentation. But let's finish up this tour and get into integrating your first app. The first step is adding an application. Our configuration flow is intuitive to follow and we only ask for the essentials. Quickly select your app's platform and fill in the required information. If your app is already live in the App Store, we can automatically populate the fields on your behalf. In our case, we are integrating an app that isn't yet in the App Store and will manually provide the information. Lastly, on this page, we ask for some information on your app's users to ensure compliance with the COPA regulation. Once completed, click Continue. Next, you're greeted with the beginning of setting up specific ads for your app. You can select any of these four placement types. Each placement and placement type can have customized settings. Having multiple placements will allow you to customize and optimize the ad experience in your app. Rewarded placements are designed to incentivize users to watch ads and reward them for their time. These rewards are specific benefits in your app like new in-game currency, a new life to continue the gameplay, or to unlock secret levels. Interstitial placements are designed to be shown to users at natural breaks in the game. These are similar to TV commercials where advertisements are shown between natural segments of a TV show. These are frequently used between levels of a game. For this demonstration, we will choose a rewarded ad. Here, we are able to customize the basic settings for the user's experience, such as end card presentation and whether or not the user can skip out of the experience. Since it's a rewarded ad, and we only want to reward users for completed ad views, we will choose it to be non-skippable and click Submit. Congratulations! You've just set up your first placement and we are more than halfway through the integration process. Here, the developer will be presented with a choice to integrate using CocoaPod or perform a manual integration of our SDK. Clicking these links will direct you to the proper documentation to start the process quickly. The majority of our developers use CocoaPod, so today we will demonstrate the simple process through CocoaPod. Simply add Vungle to your project using this snippet into your project's pod file. We will copy and paste that now. Open your project and go to the project folder to initialize CocoaPod. Now open up the pod file and copy and paste that snippet. Next, we want to run pod install and it will automatically install our SDK and any required frameworks and configurations. Now, the workspace will be created and let's open that up. We're almost done. In this project, you'll find it's intuitive to set up from here. All we need is the Vungle app ID and placement IDs, which we created in the dashboard just moments ago. Copy the app ID and paste it here. Next, let's do the same for the placement ID. Paste that in and we can launch our app. Congratulations, you have just integrated the Vungle Ads SDK and we are ready to start monetizing.
Once our SDK is initialized, the placement we added begins getting ads from our server. You'll start to see the ad assets begin to download. Once the assets are downloaded completely, the ad is ready to play. We can see the ad playing over here and can see the live reporting and tracking events are following along. We track as the user views 25%, 50, 75, and 100% of the video and any of the associated clicks. These tracked events are sent back to our server as well as to third-party attribution servers. After the video completes playing, our end card is displayed showing screenshot images allowing the user to interact with the ad unit. The user now clicks the CTA and we will launch the App Store and allow the user to download and eventually play their new game. This completes the lifecycle.